Hello, it's Sanyes, and I've got a viewer's email question today. It's from Bhagwati. Bhagwati, you've asked. Hi, Agnes. How are you? It's been good practicing self-love meditation and following your guidelines. But I have a lot of anger towards my specific person. I'm trying to dissolve it, but still working on it. Your meditation of spotlight to dissolve negativity is very relaxing. It actually helped me attract a friend whom I had lost. She came back to me today. Thanks, love. But I couldn't accept her the way things turned out. I just want to know how to accept people when they have disrespected and hurt you. I understand totally everyone is you pushed out. And when I accept this concept, I can accept them back. But does it make our value less in front of them in general? And do we trust them again? Please do make a YouTube on this. Good question. Okay, so let me go back to where you started asking the questions. You said, I just want to know how to accept people when they have disrespected and hurt you. Well, it is everyone as you pushed out. So what you say to yourself is, okay, I attracted that because of where I was at at that time. Now I know better. I can do better in how I am. Okay. So generally when you've been treated badly and just... You know if someone's been nasty to you verbally or mentally or might even be physically it's about really looking at I think the beliefs of I'm a victim I'm not good enough people don't treat me well and looking at improving again your self-love your self-worth your self value and really work on that internally through repetitive affirmations through self-love meditations and you said when i accept this concept i can't accept them back but does that make our value less in front of them well no i don't think it makes your value less but i would say if you do have self-love there are certain things you don't accept you know everyone's you pushed out, but you've got to say to yourself if someone's yelling at you, you know what, enough, see you later. You don't just stand there and take it and go, oh, this is me pushed out, I have to stand here and take the full volume of, of them venting at me, okay? Self-love is self-love, which means if anyone is abusing you physically, mentally, emotionally, you get out of there and then you go, okay, what am I thinking, feeling and believing that I need to dissolve? that is still active in me okay so you might sit down write a list of all the negative things you think about yourself about other people um, you might have the belief people belittle me or people are always nasty to me or people bully me or I'm a victim or I feel like a victim why am I always victimized things like that if those things are in you you start to learn to change them through flipping them so if you've got the belief people belittle me then you write an affirmation. It's not going to be, you're not going to say people don't belittle me as a mirror image. You would say something like, I love that I'm treated with respect. I love that I'm appreciated. I love that people are kind to me. So you write those kind of affirmations to counteract that. Okay. So let me have a look. Now you said, can we trust them again? Well, it's more can I trust myself? Because if you trust yourself to not hang around if someone's in a bad place mentally and emotionally and they're venting it at you, you just go, you know what? Mm, see you later. I'll see you another time. And you just exit. Physical removal of the body, mind and spirit, just get out of there, is the great way to break the first level then the second level needs to be that you change what you're doing mentally and then it affects you in a positive way emotionally but that is easy to say and it takes work but it is possible it is possible and saying i'm appreciated i'm appreciated i'm appreciated people love me people treat me with respect those kind of affirmations you can work on to help you get there okay so you asking do i trust them again well 
trust your gut instincts once your self-love is good okay so personally I don't let someone if someone's done something to me once yep I can forgive I won't forget because remembering it reminds me to have good boundaries with that person yes they're me pushed out but while I work on my staff doesn't mean that things aren't going to come in because we're human and we've got mixed emotions and then sometimes we pull in things that we really don't you know wouldn't choose so think of it that way always self-love what would self-love do in this situation what would self-love do in this situation okay so I hope that answers your question and uh, lots of love I will also put up the you mentioned the spotlight meditation to dissolve negativity between you and someone else I will put that up and I will put in Caitlin Moon's interview where she used the spotlight meditation and had very good result in a very she only did it once if I remember correctly but I'll put her story down below so you can listen to the results of that all right lots of love and I'll see you in the next YouTube